Chichina, a member of the Children of Echoes. I adore green fruits and would love to become more strong, even though I'm still not much of a fighter. Uh, I should probably save all that for later, right? Then, um, are you hoping to go somewhere? I'm pretty familiar with these parts, so I can show you the way! Uh, I just saw a brick that wasn't properly stacked. What should I do? Uh, now it feels like there's a little saurian scratching away inside my chest. I can do it? No, oh, I can't. I can do it? Oh, I... Ahem! <clears throat> it's fine! I can definitely do it! Right? If you're bored, why don't we take a look at my collection together? If something catches your eye, feel free to take it! Rain makes the soil all muddy and soft, so you've got to be even more careful than usual when you're mining. Scared? I was just caught off guard. Let's go roll around in the snow together. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't hide in the snow before suddenly jumping out at you like Io does. Come look at this gem. When you hold it up under the sun, it almost looks like it's got a whole rainbow hiding inside. Do you think there's any shiny ores underneath all of this sand? We can do a quick dig just to check! Good morning! I've already packed everything so we can head out whenever. I'm not sleepy, so if you want to take a nap, I'll keep watch. There are a lot of things that I'm not that good at, but my ears are still plenty sharp. I can hear trouble coming from a mile away. Malani asked me to go into a cave with her tonight in a test of courage, and uh, uh, I'm I'm so scared. What should I do? I didn't want to disappoint her, so I closed my eyes and said I'd go. No matter what happens, I should face it together with her. Uh, you're coming too? Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Oh, I don't know how I managed to screw things up again today. No, I don't want to cry, but I just can't seem to help myself. <laughs> Didn't we both already say goodnight to each other? Oh, but thank you for staying up and comforting me, though. It means a lot. Ayo and I came up with the name together. I had already decided on the first part, Turbo, and then I chose Twirly because I noticed it looked a lot like Ayo in action. I often race against Ayo on it, and I've even won! Falling in battle during the Night Warden Wars is an honor for the warriors of Natlan. As one of their number, I should feel the same. But while I was down there, even as I kept repeating that to myself, I was still terrified the whole time. I'm really grateful that you took such a huge risk to go to the Night Kingdom and bring me back. Really, I can't thank you enough. There are a lot of legends about heroes in Natlan, and my favorite one is the one about Lord Trowray. How incredibly cool is it to be able to seal the abyss beneath the ground as an ordinary mortal? Oh, that reminds me. You've been to a bunch of countries in Tevat, so you must know a lot of legends, right? I'm super curious. Could you tell me some of them when you can find the time? Please pick one you like. Just think of it as a symbol of our friendship. I've brought all of my best and shiniest ores. So come on, take one. I'll be really happy if you do. When I saw this shiny vision for the first time, I really thought my eyes were playing a trick on me. It's more shiny than any ore I've ever seen. Even though I'm nowhere near as strong as a legendary hero right now, if one day my story could inspire someone else, I'd be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> really, just one person would be enough. Ayo is a very important companion to me. Even though he looks well behaved now, he really loved headbutting people when he was younger. He's super strong, so even I get knocked over sometimes. 
Not much he can do about it, though. Because it's just how Tepetlisaurs show their affection. Oof! Hi, yo! Stop headbutting me! All right, all right! I won't say any more. Did you know? Spinal fruit are shaped just like gems! <laughs> No, if only they had the same shelf life as actual gems. Moalani is my first good friend. Before I met her, I never even knew that people as sweet as her existed. Or how many fun things there are in the world. Look, this is a photo of us. She said we should jump right when they took the photo. <laughs> I look a bit stiff. <laughs> you caught me. A lot of people were staring at us when we took this photo, so I was really nervous. It was Moalani who introduced me to him. To be honest, I was a little scared of him at first, because his eyes... Well, he's got a scary look. It was only later that I found out that he secretly taught my bullies a lesson. But when I tried to give him a gift to thank him, he refused to take it. He said something along the lines of having already received enough compensation. She's a famous peacemaker in Natlan. They say she can resolve any conflict, no sweat. I guess she probably does it because, like me, she's really not a fan of people getting into fights with each other. Before, when I wanted to become stronger, I asked Yansan to train me. She had me do all sorts of high-intensity workouts, and I often only managed to get through them by pushing myself to the limit. Luckily, she always knew just the right amount of training for me, so I still had just enough energy to make my way home after each session. I'm really grateful to her. After I received my ancient name, Uncle Pakal took me to see her and asked her to make Turbo Twirly for me. Her craftsmanship really is out of this world. Later, we discussed our experiences collecting and storing gems and even admired each other's collections. Everything in her collection is in top condition, so she must take great care of them. She seems to take a more casual approach to her own life, though. Once, I went looking for her and couldn't find her for ages. I eventually found her basking in the sunshine in a big tree, sound asleep. I never could have dreamed that the Pyro Archon herself would one day call me a hero of Natlan. She's the idol of every warrior in our land, so being recognized by her is like... I just get overwhelmed every time I think about it, sorry. Sorry, sorry! I shouldn't have started crying. Aoife's a really amazing sorrow vet. Any little Saurian who sees him comes back and starts living a healthy life. They eat right, sleep well, don't cause trouble, and basically don't get sick again. So whenever a Saurian's looking sick, everyone's first thought is to ask him to fly over and have a look. Utha Beatty is my ancient name. It means the ability to stay strong in the face of adversity. Huh. But I often wonder why the Wyab decided to give the name to me. I'm so weak, and whether at home or among the tribe, few people even know of me. With so many strong and cold people around me, am I really worthy of the name? My family, huh? I'm the middle child of my family. My dad's placed most of his hopes on my older sister, and my mom has to spend a lot of time taking care of my younger sister. Our life isn't exactly easy, so I've got to be a good girl and grow up quickly. Or at the very least, make sure they won't have to constantly worry about me. Uncle Pakal is really nice to me. Whenever the other people in the tribe talk bad about me, he always defends me. Still... I feel bad whenever he has to do that. After all, I need to win everyone's respect with my own hands. I've always known that crying won't solve anything. And I've never heard a legend talk about a hero crying in front of their friends either. I really want to hold back my tears, but I just can't. Huh? It's okay. Tears are a good way to let out your emotions. Do... Do you really think so? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, why am I crying again? I've always thought it was only natural
possible for me to be overlooked because I was weak. Now that I've talked with the Wyab, though, I've changed my mind. Utha Beatty is my ancient name, and I've... I've decided to become the best me I can be. There have to be things in this world that only I can accomplish. I will keep striving. I hope this obsidian will one day hold a record of my deeds and become even more radiant and dazzling. This is the first gem I found. It's such a pretty shade of green, don't you think? It was originally one half of a pear, but I gave the other one to Moalani. Look, the pattern on it looks just like flowing water. Oh, and this one too. It might look black at first glance, but put it under the sun and you'll see a rainbow of color. <laughs> I built this collection one stone at a time. Moolani gave me a huge hat once. It was super cool and was perfect for blocking the sun, so I really loved it. Over time though, it kind of turned into a felt hat. In the end, I had to get this hat instead, just because Sorian fur won't get stuck to it. I love berry chips. I would love them even more if they could be stacked neatly into a tower. Huh? Is this really just one portion? Oh, but if I don't finish the whole thing, won't I have let the chef's hard work go to waste? Uh, it's all right. I'll finish the whole thing. Small bites, Kachina. Small bites. Whoa, is this for me? It's super delicious. I'm going to eat slowly so I can savor every bite. The taste, the aroma, the presentation. Everything about this dish is marvelous. If there's ever a cook-off, I'm sure you'd win. Thank you for taking the time to make something for me. I... I promise that I'll finish this. Just give me a few more minutes. Happy birthday! This is for you. It's a Pika card from Iridescent Opal. Iridescent Opal's quite warm to the touch, but it doesn't really stand out, so it's easy to miss it underground. The more you carry it with you, though, the shinier it gets. It's one of my favorite gems, so I hope you'll like it, too. Are my ears trembling? No, I'm not nervous. I'm just really happy. Sorry, but I can't really control them. They're way too excited right now. Here, I'll... Let me just cover them up. You really care a lot about me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to cry, but I'm just so touched by your kindness. Though the court burned to rubble, the flame never once went out. It shall reignite the next morn, more radiant than a four. This is one of my favorite quotes from Lord Traure. I, I must keep working hard. You've shown me all kinds of new and fascinating things and really helped me to grow. I have no idea how I could ever repay you, but I want to find the answer by myself. So from now on, please allow me to be the hero. The hero that protects you.